Happy holidays, it's Miss Natasha. And this time I am here to show you a craft. It's a holiday craft. Today we're gonna to be making a poinsettia. Can you say that? Let's clap it. Poinsettia. That's right, it's got four parts. Do you know what a poinsettia is? I'll give you a hint. This is the time of the year when we see many of them, when we go to the stores. For many, it's part of our Christmas or holiday celebrations. That's right, it's a flower. And usually when we see poinsettias, they're a beautiful bright red color. But I've also seen orange ones, white ones, all kinds of different colors. Today we're gonna to be making a red poinsettia. The poinsettia is actually a Mexican flower um, and it, was, it, it is grown in Mexico and in Central America, which are Canada's neighbors to the south, just below the United States of America. In Mexico, they call it the flor de noche buena, which basically translates to Christmas Eve flower or simply noche buena. So today, when we are making our flower, we're gonna need a few items. But before we get started with our craft, I wanted to remind you that we have some great books about poinsettias here at the Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries. So one of them I'm gonna recommend is actually one of my very favorites. It's called The Legend of the Poinsettia, retold and illustrated by the late, great Tommy DePaulo. The other book is The Miracle of the First Poinsettia by Joanne Oppenheim and it's a Mexican Christmas story. So if you wanted to read a little bit more about the poinsettia, check those two books out. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So first I wanna show you what you're going to need. You can use tape or glue, and I recommend using bottled glue and not glue sticks. You also need a pair of scissors, preferably kid scissors, or if you have to use larger scissors, be sure you have an adult nearby to help supervise. You'll need a yellow marker or a yellow crayon, a pencil, and white scrap piece of paper, or you can also use a little yellow pom-pom too instead of the um, marker or um, crayon if you happen to have that around. And then we're gonna need a red piece of construction paper. And you can see that this is already cut to the shape that I need. And what shape is this? Okay, let's count the sides. One, two, three, four. So it has four sides. And it looks like each side is about the same length. That's right, it's a square. A square has four sides. Over, down, across, and up. A square has four sides. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna put these to the side. I'm actually gonna be using tape today and not the glue. If you do use the glue, um, I'll tell you a little trick that you're gonna to need to know once we get to that part. So first thing we're gonna do is gonna take our red square and we're gonna fold it from corner to corner. So lift up on one corner and connect it to the corner on the opposite side. And then we're gonna crease down so we nice, make a nice creased line. You might wanna go back and forth a few times. Then you're gonna unfold it and we're gonna do the same thing with the other corner. So corner to corner, point to point, bring our finger down and then across. What shape do we have now? Let's count how many sides. One, two, three. That's right, a triangle. A triangle's like a party hat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna unfold it. So now we're back to our square. But you can see our creases going right across, okay? So now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut on those creases. 
Now pay attention to the center. The center is right in the middle there. If you need to, make a little mark with your pencil so you can visibly see it clearly. Okay, you might have to make it kind of dark. What we don't want to do is when we cut on our crease lines is we do not want to go all the way to the center. We're only going to cut about halfway, okay? So let's go ahead and start cutting. I'm gonna come to the tip, the little corner, and I'll start cutting onto the crease line. And I'm gonna stop right about halfway, okay? There's my circle, my center, and that's about the halfway point. Doesn't have to be exactly halfway, but just about. And continue to do that for each creased line. Remembering to stop halfway. Okay, let's go ahead and place it back down on the table. Now, I'm gonna take one of the corners, doesn't matter which corner that you take first, put it right between my fingertips, and I'm gonna take that corner and go to the center line. So the point goes to the center. So once it goes to the center there, I need to be able to hold that down. I need it to stick to that center. Now, if you're gonna use the glue, when you put your drop of glue down, you're gonna have to hold it to let that glue dry a bit, okay? Or you can use a small piece of tape, just a tiny little piece. Bring that point back to the center and place your tape down. Take another small little piece of tape. We're gonna go to the next flap Bring that point down to the center. Got two more to do. Another piece of tape. Bring that to the center. You're doing such a great job. And it's okay if you need help doing this because sometimes I feel like I need four hands to do this. It's a little bit tricky. And last one. So right now, it looks like a bit of a pinwheel. You may have made, made pinwheels before. It is a pinwheel. So go ahead and just push down on the center. Make that sure that tape is nice and stuck, okay? And the last thing we need to do is we're gonna put a center in our flower. So like I said before, you can use a pom-pom if you have it, place the pom-pom in the center and you can just glue it down, okay? I'm gonna use the pom-pom in just a second, but I wanna show you, if you just have a piece of white scrap paper, take your yellow crayon or your yellow marker and just color back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until a piece of that white scratch paper that you have is all yellow. So this is what mine looks like. I'm gonna take my scissors once more and I'm gonna cut a small circle. It should be big enough to fit in that center. So you don't wanna make it too big, you also don't wanna make it too small. So medium size, just do your best. So I'm gonna go, circle goes around, a circle goes around, 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 a circle goes around. Okay, now, not the most perfect circle, but that's all right, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna put my circle in the middle, my yellow circle in the middle, and I'm gonna take another piece of tape. Actually, I'm gonna take a, a little bit bigger one there. Now, this is the part where it gets a little tricky. You can fold your tape, because you want the sticky sides all around. Now, you may need help with this. Of course, you can also use your glue, too. And I'm gonna put that right in the center on top of the other strips of tape. And then I'm gonna take my yellow circle and put it right on top of there. But I'm gonna use my yellow pom-pom. And there we go. Now I have a beautiful poinsettia, flor de noche buena.
I hope you enjoyed this craft. I would love to see the poinsettias that you make. So be sure to comment below with your pictures or just let me know how much you liked the craft. Have a great holiday season and however you celebrate, give yourself lots of love and give your family lots of love. And I will see you next time. Bye.